A and B on the incredibly busy Avamia stand. And Christian here, you're one of the applications engineers, aren't yes. you, uh, for Avamia? But you've been tasked with having to choose what applications are yes. on each machine. So yes. can we start off on this machine, of yes. course, the T series? My, my, my pleasure. Uh, I choose a part here that should show off different options we can use in the in the machine. So not only the standard milling and turning options. We have done here uh, skiving. Then we have also done eccentric turning, elliptic turning. We have also interpolated turning. Then we have also used uh, a tool to as an alternative to grinding. We have to do a burnish tool so the, to show that we can even get good surface quality without the grinding option. Then we have also done the, um, the standard milling and uh, rough power milling and power turning, but, but m most important where to show different options. I think one of the key things at Abamia is the fact that you provide machines to market that have multiple processes. Yes. And I guess that's kind of what yes, you're doing here. Yes, that's why, that's why we wanted to show that uh, because these are options that you don't normally show in the exhibition, so we wanted to do it. Um, well, we it's wanted... unique. It's unique, it's different. You want <laughs> yes. to show off what yes. the machine is exactly. capable of. Exactly. Right, okay, let's talk about the Z-Series now. Z-Series, yes. Okay, so yes. when we're talking, there's a table here, and you've got a door in the centre, yes. so you can, of course, have two different components on yes. this table. Exactly. You've shown that off. And on the Z-Series machine, of course, you've got the table. Yes. You've got the doors in the center, so you can exactly. place two applications on yes. this table. Exactly. So in the ZVH, we wanted to show that we can, while we work on one side, we can the, prepare the next job on the other side. So that's why I left one door open, so to show that you have access to the second table while the machine is running. There we show the maximum power we can get in, the, uh, in a high-feed milling operation. Uh, I go to the limit right now in, in the condition we have because uh, the machine is not screwed on the floor. So, but I still uh, we are still able to mill two millimeters cutting depths with 26 meters feet rate. And ha what response have you got from people walking? Past? Oh, it's they impressive. are amazed. Uh, so the the sound of the chips uh, hitting the the machine attracts the people and they come from every side. Everywhere. So yes, they have. yes, I've yes, seen it. yes, I've yes, seen yes, the yes, yes. It's uh, very amazing on that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the second application. The the second application, the part what we show here, that's a part we produce ourselves. This is part of our machine. Even uh, yes. this is now a prototype for uh, the base of uh, uh, for our round table. So. Uh, this was a test cut, and that's where we are showing here also that we are doing our parts. So. I know your facility is incredible in the Basque Country, and you can see yeah. you're making the components for your own machine yes, tool, so yes. it's very impressive. <laughs> Would you do it all again? Okay, the, and another good thing that we have in, in uh, Gen 2 from Ibarmia is that we are installing the TNC 7 from Heidenheim that improves just quality and it's easier for the operator. And then we have also that uh, that uh, adjustment, auto adjustment for the uh, acceleration and jerk for the C-axis, so that the operating of the machine, of depending on the part, is easier. And then we have one safety feature just to prevent that the machine gets further damaged by uh, by uh, when you have a small collision example that the machine stops sooner.